Miracle Boy Bags and ladies and gentlemen, I am your host, the one and only host and cruise, bringing you another exciting edition of Bags. Don't forget to hit and to like, subscribe to my channel. It's always going to be appreciated. Stay tuned. Miracle Boy Bags and ladies and gentlemen, I am your host, host and cruise, and guys, I am here to talk about one of the greatest fighters to ever put on a pair of boxing gloves, man. He just made his comeback after a two-year layoff in Managua, Nicaragua. Uh, Nicaragua's favorite favorite son, legend, hero, um, the one and only Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez. Uh, tremendous, remarkable record, 52 wins, four losses, 42 big wins by knockout. Um, the only four division world champion in the history of Nicaraguan boxing. Something the great, the late great Alexis Arguello couldn't even achieve. Um, Alexis Arguello is a great fighter. He's a great fighter, um, one of the greatest fighters in the history of the sport. Um, one of the greatest punchers in the history of the sport. El Flaco es posible. But Roman Chocolatito, for his size, he has dynamite in both hands. He fights Mexican. Hands up, comes forward, tucks his chin, and punches upon punches. Pressure, pressure, doesn't stop. Tremendous gas tank. And he showed it last night. He's been off two years. And it's amazing. I mean, they were talking about Ring Russ. I, I even thought, okay, he's gonna be he's been off two years, you know, that's wild. He's 37, and you know, it's, it's it may be a bit shaky. Or we might, we might not see the the Chocolatito Bowl. So, for the fight started, you know, took a couple rounds. Chocolatito will lose the early portion of the rounds, and then the second half, he cranks it up and takes it. Saw some rust there, but it didn't take long for Chocolatito to come out swinging. Uppercut, body shots, left hook, right cross, left hooks, another left hook. Here comes Chocolatito once again. Didn't take long till the avalanche of punches returned, man. Chocolatito, one of the best, always been one of the best combination volley punchers in the history of the sport. Even during his prime, you know, like I said, suffocated pressure, a lot of punches. Uh, excellent, excellent um, accuracy with his shots, man. is is crazy. And at 37, being off two years, he did not miss a beat. You know, the, the, the majority of the fight, man, especially in the second, after the third, fourth round, Chocotito started to take it to um, Barrera out of Colombia. Good fighter, good fighter. Showed a lot of heart, showed a lot of heart. Um, a lot of heart in his fight. And that was that. I mean, he put up a good fight. He didn't stop throwing, but the punching didn't have any effect, obviously, if you were watching the fight. Chocolatito was just breaking him down, breaking him apart to the point that even the commentators were saying, stop the damn fight. Where's his corner? Oh, my goodness. And the fight got stopped in the last round, but I felt the fight could have been stopped two rounds earlier, maybe three, because Barrio was already taking a beating. He was not fighting the same way as he was in the free beginning of the fight. His punches didn't have any steam on them like they were in the, in the, in the early portions of the fight. The power was not there, like I said. Um... He was just there to survive, man. He was on survival mode um, three rounds earlier when they got stopped in the 10th. He just showed a lot of heart. A lot of heart. That's all he was fighting on, heart. And Chocolatito was just being himself. Punches, uppercuts, hooks, body shots, left hooks. And it was just becoming a, a massacre in that ring. And vintage Chocolatito, man, he, he he's back. He's back. At 37 years old, he's back. And uh, at 37 years old, there's still some paydays for the legend. You know, a lot of people are saying that hopefully he fights Bam because in this fight, he was actually sparring Bam to get Bam ready for his last fight against Estrada, who we all know that Roman Chocolatito and Estrada um, have fought three times. I think both fighters are each other's best opponents. Um throughout their careers, in my opinion. So, you know, Chocolatito, of course, was the right opponent for Bam, was the right sparring partner for Bam to get him ready for Estrada. 
similar style, similar, you know. And now Chocolatito coming back home to Nicaragua, leaving California from sparring with Bam in Robert Garcia Boxing Academy to coming home to Nicaragua to get ready for his fight in Pereira. You know, Chocolatito was definitely in shape, fighting Bam, sparring Bam. You know, any at 37, like we all know, he did not miss a beat. Like I said, he did not miss a beat. He was himself at 37 years old. Man, Chocolatito is still still one of the best fighters in the in the weight class. And right now, even at 37 right now, he's one of the best fighters. Not only in the weight class, but in the sport. Back back in 2017, he was the number one pound-for-pound -pound fighter. He took Floyd Mayweather's spot as the number one pound-for-pound -pound fighter. Crawford was no, not pound-for-pound -pound number one yet. Neither Nayo in a way. Chocolatito was pound-for-pound -pound the best fighter in the world, period, during that time. Until Sergei said, Sharung beside Stopped him, beat him. Uh, so he's back, and like I said, uh, a lot of people are saying that him and Bam may fight. Maybe that, and that's a possibility. That's a possibility. Um, another good payday for Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez. A fight that many expect Bam to win because of his youth. Um, even though Chocolatito was coming in there with a lot of experience and that pressure and the punches upon punches, I think what we saw with Barrera, I think Chocolatito can give Bam a hell of a fight. A next fight for Bet for Chocolatito will be Nayo Inoue, a fight that has been talked about for many years. And based on my boy True School Sport Brendan, he said that this fight this that fight may not happen because both guys share the same promoter. And um under Tykan pro promotions. And um that's may be the reason why the fight may not happen. But I remember when Chocolatito was in number one pound for pound, that fight would be in the talks for years. But um, may not materialize because of that. Now, Chocolatito, like I said, he has Bam as an option. He has any top fighter in the weight class. Any top fighter. Um, Sonny Edwards. Um, the hell, he might even get. He might even go for a rematch with, with um, Estrada. You just never know. You just never know what Chocolatito may end up doing. Um, at the end of the day, Chocolatito is still a hell of a fighter. He still has pulse in running through his veins, in his body, to give a lot of good fighters, up and coming, even up and coming fighters, a run for their money. Not saying he's going to be banned, but he's going to give Bam a hell of a fight. He's going to give a lot of these fighters hell. Win, lose, or draw, you know. And. That's that. Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez. Last night when I was watching the fight and Jimmy Lennon Jr. was introducing him. You know, Chocolatito. I was there in my living room on the couch. Chocolatito Gonzalez. It's just, it's a goosebumps feeling. You know, he's a legend. Future Hall of Famer. And such pride. You know, mucho orgullo. And um, in my opinion, nothing to take away from Alexis Arguello. He is the greatest, one of the greatest fighters to ever live in the history of boxing. Not only for Nicaragua, but boxing, period, and punchers. But because of Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez's exciting Mexican fighting style and the only four-division world champion in Nicaraguan boxing history and still going at 37 and looking good, to me, he's the best Nicaraguan boxer. In history of Nicaragua boxing. You know. And you got many good fighters from Nicaragua. You got. Um, I forgot his name. The one that gave Ricardo Lopez a hell of a fight. Um, they fought about three times. Oh, Rosendo Alvarez. Rosendo Alvarez. Another good, Mex another good Nicaraguan fighter. Ricardo El Maltarol Mariorga. Mayorga, you all know him. Craziest man in sport. Of course, the late, great Alexis Arguello. Many, you know, Jesus Cuellar. Um, well, Jesus Cuellar is Argentinian. Um, Nicaragua, the, the Alvarado brothers. Felix Alvarado, Rene Alvarado. Um, Alexis Arguello. And then you got Chocolatito Gonzalez. Um, and that's that. 
Let me know what you guys think about Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez's return last night in Nicaragua. I'll tell you what, he put on a show for his fans, man. He let his, he let his punches go. He was not there to play. He was on he was like a man on a mission, and he tore the house down in El Gimnasio Alexis Arguello in Managua, Nicaragua. He tore the house down. He did not disappoint his fans. He put on a show. He gave them a show, and he'll be back for sure, man. And I can't wait. Chocolatito is still here. Let me know what you guys think about his performance. Let me know what you guys think. Who he should who should he fight next? What's next for him? Leave your comments in the section below. And um, I'll take a look at them and, and and see what's up with that. Miracle Boy Boxing, ladies and gentlemen, I am your host, Sosa Cruz. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, guys. It is always a pleasure to talk to you guys right here about boxing. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.